Here we'll do a linear regression problem with several steps. First, we're given some data, which is a set of quarterbacks in the NFL during the 2019 season. And for each quarterback, we're given their height and their weight. We're going to compare these two. Now, without any other information at the moment, we're going to assume that height is going to represent X and weight will represent Y, just because they're ordered that way. Uh, later on in the problem, we might have more information that'll tell us which one should be X and which one should be Y. But for now, we'll just assume that and change if necessary. So first, we want to calculate the correlation coefficient. And to do this, we'll use the calculator. So first, we need to go to the calculator and enter this data. To enter the data, we'll hit the Stat button and hit Enter to get into the Edit menu. And under List 1, we'll enter the X values. So the heights that we saw, the first quarterback had a height of 75 inches, then 74, 74, 70, 71, 74, 76, 77, 72, and 74. And then we can scroll over to the second list for their weight, and we'll enter these as well. Once we have all the data entered, we can go back into the stat menu and scroll over to the calc, down to the linear regression option. Again, we've entered X's in list one and Y's in list two, so we don't need to change anything. If those were switched, it wouldn't change the correlation coefficient anyway. So for this first part, it didn't really matter which way we entered them, but later on it will be significant. So we'll just hit calculate, and it goes ahead and gives us the equation for the line, which we don't need just yet. All we're looking for at the moment is the value of R, which is about 0.6. The first part of the question just asks for the value of r, so now that we have that, we can go back to the notes and enter that. Now for the second part of the question, we want to know, is there a strong linear relationship? So based on the value of r, we know first of all that there is a positive relationship, since r is positive, and we wouldn't necessarily say it's a strong relationship, because it's less than 0.8, which again is not a magical number, but it's sort of an agreed upon level for a strong relationship. But 0.6, we might say there is a moderate relationship. And often a moderate relationship is good enough to continue on and will continue to do the rest of the problem. So we wouldn't necessarily say it's a strong relationship, but it is a moderate linear relationship. The next part of the question asks for the regression line, which we've already calculated. Now notice the direction here. The regression line is going to predict the weight from the height. In other words, the weight is going to depend on height which means that weight should be y and height should be x, which is the way that we already set it up. So it's good that we did so, and the regression line that we got from the calculator earlier is the one that we'll write here. So if we go back to the calculator, we can see what we had there. We have a is about 3.01 and b is negative 4.43. So now that we have that, we can move on to the rest of the problem. Here we want to graph the data as well as the regression equation. And I'll actually use the calculator to do this. We'll graph both the data and the equation on the same window. We already have the data entered. So if we turn on the stat plot under second y equals, we turn on this first stat plot and leave it as a scatter plot the way it is. X and Y are in the right order. Now when we graph, we'll see those points as long as we're scaled to the right window. And then also if we hit Y equals, we can graph the equation which was 3.01x minus 4.43. Now before we graph, we should go to the window and make sure that our x values and y values are in the right range. The x values, the heights, range from 70 up to 77, so we should make sure that x covers at least that range. So let's say we make x min 68 and x max 79. And then the y values, the weights, range from 200 up to 233. So let's say we go from 190 to 240. Now when we graph this, we see those heights as well as the line that passes through them. Now notice what this graph gives us. First of all, it points out that uh, outlier on the lower right-hand side. And that's the first entry. Lamar Jackson is 
on the upper end of the height scale. He's at 75 inches, he's one of the taller players, but he's actually the lightest of all of them at 200 pounds. So if we actually removed him from the data set, our R value would be much, much higher because he's what's making the data points not follow a straight line. Since he's kind of out in space by himself, that messes up some of the strength of the linear trend that would be there otherwise. So sometimes there are outliers like this that will lower the value of R, but if you remove them, the value of R will be better. Of course, you can't just throw away outliers because your data would look better without them, but keep that in mind. Next, we can predict the weight of a quarterback who is 73 inches tall. So given a height, we can predict their weight using this equation. So A is 3.01, and then if we plug in 73 for X, we can predict that Y hat, their weight for a quarterback of this height would be about 215 pounds. Lastly, we get this question. Does Drew Brees weigh more or less than the weight predicted by the regression line based on his height? So we can do the same thing we did in the last part where we predict what someone who is the height of Drew Brees, 72 inches, would tend to weigh according to this equation. And according to this equation, that comes out to 212 pounds approximately. So the question asks, does he weigh more or less than the predicted value? The predicted value is 212 pounds, and he only weighs 209 pounds, so he weighs less than what's predicted. So here are the answers to all the parts of this question. We found the correlation coefficient, we interpreted it, we found the regression line and graphed it alongside the data, and then we made a couple of predictions based on that regression line.